Hello again, Michael Haynes with here with Jason Elliott as we look back at a great start to MWC 23. Absolutely amazing to be here, Michael. Our customers and partners are so amazingly enthused about our new refreshed brand look and feel. It really talks about Nokia, who is now what we are today in terms of a B2B technology innovation leader where networks meet cloud. And Melissa Shabe told us that the new look is all about looking to the future. We are no longer a consumer company. We are, I can proudly say, a B2B technology innovation leader. So it was time. It was time to uh, help change people's perceptions of who Nokia is. Meantime, Ricky Corker told us that the pandemic really gave us an opportunity for change. And I think the opportunities we see are you know, the need for national infrastructure. We've proven that through the pandemic. We, we need connectivity. We need the rights to do this stuff. So demand is out there, and that's going to create opportunities for us, whether it's in the networking side or in our software technologies. What's really important about changing right now is really how we can discover the exponential potential of networks. So moving beyond consumer services into the enterprise market, generating new revenue, new service, accelerating digitalization, which is really, really important thinking about post-pandemic activities. In the meantime, Michael, we're here talking about collaboration. Collaboration is so important, and there are three different ways we think about collaboration at Nokia. One of them is to accelerate time to value. So when you think about building solutions with key technical partners that we have, like the hyperscalers and other hardware and software vendors. Secondly, it's also time to value in terms of go-to-market partners as well. So these are our partners like Kindrel, who are system integrator partners to kind of create new solutions into the market. And also how we can innovate with our partners as well. So Technical University of Munich is a great example that we have here for our different types of discovery partners to accelerate new innovation. And this is really how we talk about being able to accelerate the overall new solutions and business models that are needed in our industry today. And as Hilary Mine had told us as well, there have been significant changes that really led us to believe that collaboration was the ultimate solution. And that's been driven by both financial and technology considerations. And when we talk about network meeting cloud, you have to have a collaborative approach and you need to create ecosystems. And we see that throughout the way that we appear at Mobile World Congress, in our partners booths, with them in our booth, and so forth. Meantime, we also learned on day one of MWC 23 that Catherine Gull of Cellnex believes that collaboration with Nokia is helping deploy industry 4.0 infrastructure right across Europe. And um, energy and industry, logistics, ports, et cetera, airports, they all have something in common. And the thing that they have in common is they need network when they need it, where they need it, how they need it. Further to what Catherine said, Private wireless networks are critical to accelerate industry digitalization. And that's really important to drive things like productivity, safety, and efficiency, and to increase the resilience of many different types of industries, from manufacturing, to ports, to energy, and utilities. That private wireless connectivity is critical to these physical industries. And none of it could be done with a collaboration with an extensive list of partners. Passy Toivonen works with vendor partners to ensure that the radio access network works for everyone. We want to see it as a journey together with our partners. We want to see it as a greater ecosystem with the hyperscalers, server makers, and this is just the beginning. We are going to do much more. So Parsi talked about the importance of collaboration, particularly with the hyperscale partners, which is really about how we're accelerating the movement to the cloud for radio access technologies using that AnyRAN concept. It's been a fascinating day one here at MWC. Absolutely amazing, Michael. I cannot wait for day two. Well, that's a wrap of day one of MWC 23 live from Barcelona. Join us for day two. I'm Michael Hainsworth.